Could future historians look back at this weekend and decide that two completely unrelated events symbolize a significant, even profound shift? On earth, Nelson Mandela, a man who embodied the 20th century's struggle for democracy, will soon be laid to rest. More on that in a minute. On the moon, the new superpower China has landed its own unmanned spacecraft. The Chang'e 3 rocket and its Jade Rabbit robot will carry out scientific experiments loaded with political matter. Another notch in China's ascendancy. We asked the science broadcaster and close observer of China's space program, Sarah Crudus, to watch events. It landed on the moon. The dawn of a new era in space exploration. Today, China became only the third nation to land on the moon. And the first for nearly 40 years. The Jade Rabbit rover will operate on the lunar surface for at least three months. Exploring a three square kilometre area, it will dig and analyse soil samples and has a ground penetrating radar that will be able to analyse the moon's surface to a depth of 90 feet. But it's not just a scientific project, it's a political statement. Listen, uh... Not too long ago, the moon was practically America's backyard. A source of national pride and an essential part of the image of a superpower. At the time, most Chinese would have barely been aware the space race was happening, let alone expected their country to take part. Even though make All that even has now changed. China's upward thrust is taking it to new territories. China is showcasing its scientific power to the world and basically in a way joining the Silver Power Club in terms of being able to send a rover to the moon. Is that more of a political statement than a scientific one? I think the science part is less so than political. The aim is a manned landing which China wants to see inside a decade. Relics of America's space dominance are now found in museums, like the Lunar Lander model here at the Science Museum. NASA no longer launches its own astronauts and its budget is at its lowest since 2007. John Zarnacki is a visiting professor at Beihan University in Beijing. I don't subscribe to the idea that the Americans are finished in space. NASA still has a large budget and it does great things. They are perhaps not so obvious because they focus more on unmanned missions, robotic missions. It's 41 years ago this week since Americans last walked on the moon. Although the Chinese landing of an unmanned rover isn't considered a game changer, it is significant because it marks another shift in power towards the east and takes the Chinese that one step closer to landing a human on the moon. China's success is good news for another of the world's leading space industries, ours. The components here at the Rutherford Appleton Laboratory near Oxford are so delicate that one of the biggest dangers is human contamination. So, this is the prototype of an instrument that will fly in 2018 on a NASA spacecraft called the James Webb Space Telescope, and that's the replacement for Hubble. The space industry in the UK is worth 10 billion a year and is growing at 10%. Most of our programs currently and in the past have been with NASA and the European Space Agency. The fact that the Chinese are opening up this new market really helps us enormously. It gives us big opportunities to work with them. In a sense, it's a no-brainer for both countries to work together. The future is likely to see the two countries working closer together. But for the moment, this mission is all Chinese. And even though the Jade Rabbit's contribution to science won't be vast, its boost to China's ego will be much larger and take the country one step closer to their ultimate goal.